Well, it's another fine day, and I'm having my uh, problems with my car. Unfortunately, <laughs> I am not able to get to the dealer today. So, I am hoping that the problem will persist until tomorrow. So that I can get it in. But, uh, my uh, new speakers should be on the way today. It's actually came, they came in a pair. So I'm gonna have an extra speaker. But, uh, so they came in a pair. I'm gonna get those changed out as soon as possible. It is extremely cold today. It's five degrees, actually, actually it's one degree. It was negative one when I left the house. And now it's turned into uh, one. So it is warming up a little bit, but not, that, not by much. But, uh, so, hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to get my car in the shop. Now, a couple other things. Uh, the internet at my house is bad. I mean, it's just bad. There's all there is to it. It's bad. They, uh, the upload speed is one meg, and... When I'm uploading videos that are WQHD, uh, a 10 minute video will usually run in the ballpark of about uh, four gigs. So when you're uploading at one megabit per second and you have four gigabytes of upload, it's hours and hours and hours to get the damn thing uploaded. Uh, so it's bad. And some of my longer videos now that I've been recording have been, you know, in the eight to nine gig range, and it's just too much for. Uh, oops, I'm not getting. I'm still not used to this. It's just too much. So what I'm doing is while I'm at work, I'm actually putting my phone in my locker, and I have full signal 4G LTE through Sprint. And I'm usually getting in the range of about nine, nine or so megabits. So I can upload an eight gig uh, uh, video in about an hour, approximately. So it's actually pretty, pretty good. It actually spikes out at uh, around 12 to 13. Uh, the tower just is not that far from where I live, or where I work, excuse me. So, you know, it uh, works out pretty good for me. So what I'm doing is, because I work five days a week, is uh, I leave my phone in my locker, let it upload all the videos that I've been uploading, or that I need to upload, and then I'm done. So uploading them at home is just a nightmare because it, you know, like I said, for an eight gig file, It'll take all night and a day just to get that uploaded from home. So doing it from work is just makes so much sense and I have unlimited data through Sprint. Yeah, right, like you're gonna do that, asshole. So I am on my way to a new self-wash. Not new, but a new for me self-wash. We're gonna see just how good it is. It's in the middle of nowhere. Usually the ones that are in the middle of nowhere are the ones that are always broke, broke down, whatever. So I brought two dollars and quarters. All I'm gonna do is rinse the car up. There's a lot of salt. It is accumulated. I like to try to keep my uh, car rinsed off as much as possible, although it's very difficult in these winters. But that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm heading there right now to see how good it is. So I have to drive all the way into town. Well, I just passed it. 
So we'll do a little UE here. Hopefully there's no cop watching. It's actually a nice little neighborhood we got here. A car wash in the middle of nowhere with a beautiful neighborhood behind it. Let's see. I don't know where the change machine is. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. See if this thing works. So I'm actually quite impressed. They actually, this is way better than the car wash I've always gone to. They have uh, the digital meter here that shows you how much you have left to pay. So as you stick in a quarter, the amount goes down. Plus, they actually have a timer right here. And it's definitely more than the, uh, the one that I always go to. Because I think the one I always go to is about three minutes, maybe three and a half. This one was four minutes. So I'm actually quite impressed that... This little itty bitty car wash out here in the middle of nowhere has features that the one in town does not. So I'm definitely going to be going to this car wash uh, in the future. If anybody wants to know, it's the Auto Bath in uh, Bath, Michigan. <laughs> the Auto Bath. So cool. I, uh, Got that all taken care of. Of course, as cold as it is, the uh, water is not uh, not taking very long to freeze on the car, but there was so much salt that I wanted to get rid of it. And I don't care if there's a little ice on my car. I do remember in the old days when uh, I used to um, uh, go out to get in your car before keyless entry and you'd go to stick your key in this happened to me all the time on my blazer you'd go to stick your key in and the lock would be froze and or be covered in snow or something like that and then it wouldn't work and you had to use that uh i had a can of that ah shit i had a can of that uh de-icer lock de-icer that you would basically just stick in your lock i'm sure some of you are familiar with that You'd stick it in your lock and it would uh, it was basically just alcohol that would shoot in your lock and then you'd be able to free it up it would melt the ice pretty fast so it's uh, kind of funny actually Now my car is all washed up and hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to get it to the dealer. But as I was explaining before about the, uh, the YouTube internet thing, um, so this video, here it is, Tuesday. I don't work until Thursday, so this video here is actually not going to get posted until Thursday afternoon sometime. So, I, I, I mean, that's unfortunate, that's just the way that it has to be because I can't especially when my wife's home and she wants to watch Netflix or whatever, I can't clog up the, the internet. And at home, I only get one bar of LTE 
and it usually switches back and forth between 3G and uh, LGE, LGE, LTE. So the connection is actually really slow at home. Uh, so unfortunately, I gotta do this, but um, they don't offer anything faster in my area right now. And I don't think that I'm going to be paying for anything faster because for what I do at home, it serves its purpose. And if there's ever anything I need to download, like torrents, I know some of you are like, oh. But uh, if there's ever anything I need to download or upload to YouTube or whatever, I just use my uh, connection at work. I've got uh, T-Torrent on my phone, so it's unlimited speed and it... <laughs> I mean, uh, there was a, uh, a Blu-ray version of Ghostbusters, the, uh, the remastered Ghostbusters, I guess, and I was curious to see how good it actually looked, and it was, the torrent was 26 gigs, and uh, it, only down, it only took it a couple hours to download off of my Sprint LTE connection when I was at work one day. It's really nice having unlimited data. And I know that some of you out there hate Sprint. Actually, a lot of you out there hate Sprint. And quite honestly, I'm disappointed with the service coverage itself. Uh, I've never had any problem. Oh, man, these roads. I've never had any problem with voice coverage. I've always had voice. And I'm not saying that's roaming, because I have roaming turned off because of the amount. Uh, sorry, I got a text that screwed up my phone. Um, I don't want to take a chance with roaming on of actually using up data and it's usually Verizon towers that I roam on and I think you get a hundred megs of roaming and then they uh, start charging you or they turn you off uh, as far as data goes or something like that I don't know so I have roaming turned off so but I do roam on Verizon's voice towers um, but anyway, uh, so thankfully Sprint has the unlimited data and it really is unlimited. It's not, we're gonna throttle you. Now, what I've noticed is that if I've downloaded a whole bunch of data, you know, two, three, 400 gigs, uh, towards the end of the month, if I'm in the city, I, I do notice that I do get throttled. Um, but if I have not used a lot of data, you know, a couple gigs here and there, and I'm in the city, I notice that I'm not throttled. And that was a big stink uh, here last year when, come to find out, that Sprint does in fact throttle the heavier users in the cities, in the congested areas, to free up the, uh, the data lines for everyone else. Which, you know, I'm fine with that. Uh, at the time of day that I do all my uploads and downloads, it's overnight so I'm probably the only one on the tower maybe there's a couple people so I've never been throttled at work not once I've always had a very consistent uh, 30 to 40 down and usually around 9 or 10 up it's pretty consistent and it's peaked out at 15 up so you know not too bad so that's that's basically uh, what I do for my YouTube channel now and since I have a new computer, I can actually increase the quality of the production uh, because it doesn't take all day and all night to produce a video. It's you know it's real fast now, so higher quality videos now, which means larger videos, but that's fine.